guys, today we're gonna talk about the Firestaff Blunderbuss combinations. I have two builds in mind which I want to share with you as I believe that they are extremely strong in the current meta of New World. The first one is mainly focused on chasing down single targets while the second is heavily focused on supporting your teammates by providing a mass anti-heal. Same as before, the guides will be split in two parts and in the first one which we will go over today, we're gonna check the skill trees for both weapons, the main artifacts, armor and jewelries that we need to use and of course, last but not least, the playstyle and what we should aim for. In the next video, which will be the part 2, we will go in depth about all skills and perks in order to understand and see the full picture of it. Also, there will be tips for the playstyle of both builds so we can improve our gameplay. So without further ado, let's go over the both weapon skill trees and see what are the differences between chasing down single targets and supporting your team with AoE spells. First, we're gonna look at the fire staff and on the left side you can see the skill tree which I'm currently using for chasing down single targets. As you can see, there is not much difference from the critical build as I believe this build provides a lot of damage and chase potential. We are going with the Pillar of Fire, Fireball and of course Burnout. On the right side, we're gonna see a totally different build which is including the Pillar of Fire Meteor Shower and Fireball. With those three abilities, we can provide a huge AoE burst mainly on the point and the clumps whenever there is big fights. If we go over to the Blunderbuss, we're gonna see two different builds as well. The first one on the left side again will be related to the chasing of single targets. As you can see, we are going with Cloud Shot, Shrapnel Blast and of course Net Shot. Those three abilities will provide us with a lot of catch potential to single targets and of course a really high burst of damage due to the shrapnel blast. And again on the right side we will see the completely opposite type of build for the blunderbuss which will be mainly focusing the AOE mass anti-heal effects. For this one we are gonna go again with net shot, shrapnel blast but this time we are gonna replace the cloud shot with splitting grenades. For our second point, which will be the armors, artifacts and jewelry, there is a small difference between the two builds. However, the details for that will be explained in the part 2. For the single target build of Firestaff Blunderbuss, you would want to have the weapon perks for Firestaff Pillar of Fire, Fireball. And of course, on the Blunderbuss side, you would want to have the net shot perk as well as the cloud shot perk as it will provide you a lot of burst potential. For the AOE builds you would want to have the empowering fireball, refreshing pillar of fire and of course empowering meteor shower. For the blunderbuss side you would most definitely need the net shot perk and of course the plague splitting grenades. For the rest of the perks I will go into further details as mentioned on the part 2 as there are many different variations of what you can take depending on your placement and playstyle. However, the most important ones would be the fire harnessing for improved fire damage, refreshing and of course health. As we briefly went through the needed perks for those two builds, we can also go over the artifacts for both of them as well. For the one that we're gonna focus mainly on single targets, we would want to have the Tumblr Boots which will provide us with increased healing, empower and of course fortify whenever we dodge an enemy attack. While for the AoE Mass Anti-Heal build, we would want to have as much cooldown reduction as possible and therefore we will go with the Nimble Coat. For the jewelries, we will always want to have the earring since both amulet and the ring are not so beneficial for us as a mage class. And of course for the weapons, there is no doubt that we have to pick the weapon of Blunderbuss as an artifact since the one for the fire staff is not that great due to the scaling of strike damage. And with that guys, we are on our last point in which we are gonna mention the playstyle and the positioning which is required for both of the builds. 
For the first one in which we're gonna prioritize single targets, we would want to apply as much debuffs as possible to the enemy healers and of course any light users. Mainly we can do that using the net shot or using the burnout to get close to targets and then follow up with shrapnel blast. Also pay attention to the cloud shot because this can improve your burst potential quite a lot. For the AoE build, it's crucial to keep a safe distance but still close enough so we can use all our AoE abilities. All of them will provide a massive anti-heal debuff to the enemies and your melees and clumpers will always have an edge. Make sure that your fireball, pillar and grenades are in range to be used and of course try to maintain the meteor shower as soon as it comes out of cooldown. And with that, the part 1 of the Firestaff Blunderbuss builds, which I wanted to share with you, is now over. If you don't want to miss the in-depth deep dive into the two builds in our part 2, please follow the channel and join my Discord community. There we can have a discussion about everything related to New World, but not only. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.